ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome back to the room in which I changed your lives forever. Does it seem like he's gearing up for something? Yep. Gonna be late. <laughs> I'm Tessa Smith with Screen Rant. Thank you guys so much for taking the time today. Happy oh, to. Of course. Hi, Tessa. So I actually attended a taping for season two uh, for oh. episode eight, which was so much fun. Which uh, episode eight was the... Um, is that Cyrano or is that... Which one was that? That's uh, the... Uh, it was uh, when um, B.B. Glazer comes back. Oh, fantastic. Oh, That's a good yeah, one. Which yeah. was so oh, it's, fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I, I've got to talk to you about the like multi-camera shots because I found that so interesting to watch how you guys filmed this. So can you talk about the decision to, to do that? Oh yeah, I mean, there's no question. Just as you know, uh, Frasier, the original was was multicam, and and uh, you know, it, it's been that format has been in a little bit of a slump the last, like I don't know, you could even say 20 years, uh, which is crazy because you go back to, you know, the 80s, the 70s, the 60s. I mean, that that's that's what comedy was was uh, let's let's put on a stage play every week and and shoot it with a bunch of cameras and uh, air it for the world to see. The, the getting back to it was such a delight I, not only for Kelsey but for us just th because nothing beats that uh, that feel nothing beats that that live audience working without a net feel and for us at least that's what uh, we love and that's what I respond to when I watch multicams is you're at home you're watching a show you're watching hopefully people you love you, you get you get a peek into a, a, a found family or a real family that's that's uh, that you get to feel a part of and you're laughing with other people and you're, you're experiencing emotions with other people. And there's something so wonderful about how communal that is. And uh, we've loved uh, making an effort to bring that back on this show. You have anything to add? <laughs> no, he was, uh, he, uh, to that? No, did you hear how Pretty long thorough, he talked for? Yeah. I got nothing to add. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said it was perfect. You didn't have to say it was too long. Talked for a minute too long. What am I gonna add to that? I, it wasn't yeah. too, now you're wasting her time. Yeah, it's Not fine. No. Uh, well, I got to talk to you guys, too, about just bringing Frasier back, because I love this show. I love how it feels like the original, but that, or I should say the first one, because I consider this more not a reboot. It's more like a spinoff, I would say, right? Yeah, I think so. It's we, we, I mean, we kept the name Frasier, but you could have called it, like, The Cranes, because it really is... Cheers was one show, Frasier's another show, this is another show. It's, it's hard to call it a reboot since you're not in the same sets, you don't have all the same actors and characters, but it, it feels like, yes, it feels more like a spinoff to us too. Yeah, so can you talk about just being able to bring Frasier back to fans? Because I, I do, I love this show, and I love the original, but I love this show too. No, I I loved the original too, so it's, it's, it's terrifying. It was terrifying to bring this back because it's such a high bar, it's like, what that, the original show is one of the best comedies of all time, so the idea of like, well, we can do it again, and we're gonna do it better is insane to even think. <laughs> so it was just so fun to write for Kelsey and the character of Frasier that doing a new show felt like it took some of that pressure off. Like if we had, and it would have been great to do the version, you know, with um, Jane and David and Perry and do that show again, but it's like, we're not gonna recreate that show. That show's perfect, like we can't make it better. We can do our own show and hopefully bring those people in to like sprinkle in. Um, that'll be fun in its own way, but doing our own version of the show takes a lot of that pressure off. And hopefully people just enjoy Frasier, the character, as much as they did before, which hopefully they do because Kelsey's still as sharp as ever. So it's, it, it, was ours to, it was ours to fail on, and thankfully I don't think we have yet. So, no, so, so, th so that was a short answer. That was the same. I, I just want to be clear, like that, I, I, that was... Not, honestly, it might have been shorter, but it was I, more fun. I, it was a more fun I, answer. I, I, honestly, I can't tell because I nodded off uh, mm -hmm. in the middle. So, uh, but, but thank you for that lesson, Joe. I appreciate so it. goddamn funny. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Uh, well, so you mentioned people coming back, and that's one of the things I love about this, is you're watching it and you just don't know who's going to potentially show up. But then that the core cast is so fantastic as well, and you... I love like all their different storylines and following all of them, like Freddie and everybody, um, which is a lot of fun. But can you talk about like finding that balance, right? When you're going to bring people in for cameos and when you're going to focus on this core group? Yeah, it, I mean, it's it's totally about finding a balance. It's exactly right. Uh, in the first season, uh, we wanted to make sure that we, you know, we established our own world first uh, and and didn't rely on uh, on too many appearances. In the second season, uh, we got to play a little more, which was awesome because there are so many people from the original series yeah. that we can't wait to see again. Uh, and and we and we have a we have a, a a good amount of them in the second season, and it's just always a delight to 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 bring them back and and uh, integrate them into the show. Yeah, we haven't even brought we haven't even brought Chopper Dave back yet. We had to do like three, <laughs> four, five more seasons. Yeah. 
We gotta get everybody in. It, it's almost like cheating because the characters and the actors are so fun and sharp that yeah. we, uh, that we, we, you instantly know who that character is, the lines and the jokes come easy, uh, but we are not above cheating. It no. is great. No. <laughs> well, I was gonna ask you, is there anyone that you would love to bring in that you haven't yet? Yes, <laughs> y yes, there's several people that we would love. And honestly, it's just finding the right story for some of these folks and finding the, the making sure the schedules line up but I, ideally we'll get everyone we want from the original and cheers like there's so many people we haven't seen yet I, I don't even know if I could pick a favorite there's so many options I, I think I, one one area is that we you know we haven't yet uh, taken advantage of the fact that Kelsey is or that Frazier is back in Boston and that is where uh, cheers took place and so there's a whole group of characters obviously BB was 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 part of that um, Lilith, but uh, but we'd love to we'd love to for Fraser to 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 run into somebody along the way at some point. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, that's my time, but I really appreciate it. And like I said, I love this show. I think you guys did a fantastic job of capturing the feel of the original, but giving us something new and exciting with with this whole cast. So that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God, they traded your baby for wine. Do you really think we would trade John for white Zinfandel? <laughs> or any wine?